Good morning students. Today we are going to start exercise 12.2 of measurement of time. Children, we measure long interval of time by weeks, months and years. In this exercise, today first we are going to learn about the week. There are 7 days in a week. They are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Children, always remember Monday is the first day of the week and Sunday is the last day of the week. Now, yesterday. Yesterday means a day before today. I am repeating, yesterday means a day before today and tomorrow means a day after today. I am repeating tomorrow means a day after today. For example, suppose today is Monday. So children, what comes after Monday? After Monday comes Tuesday and that is tomorrow. And what comes before Monday? That is Sunday. And that is yesterday. Children, one more thing. Remember, what means between? Between means the middle one. If the question comes, what comes between Sunday and Tuesday? So, at that time, the answer is Monday. Okay, between means middle one. Now, let's do the exercise. Fill in the blanks. The question A is, dash comes before Wednesday. What comes? That is Tuesday. So, right here, Tuesday. Now, the next is, dash comes after Friday. After Friday comes Saturday. So, right here, Saturday. Now, see, dash comes between Wednesday and Friday. Between means middle one. So, that is Thursday. So, right here, Thursday. Now, D. The first day of the week. First day of the week is Monday. Now, the E is the last day of the week dash. The last day of the week is Sunday. Right, Sunday? Now, exercise 12.3. In this exercise, we are going to learn about calendar or ordinary year and leap year. Children, let's first understand about ordinary year. In a calendar, there are day, week, month and year. In one week equals to seven days. One month equals to four weeks plus few more days. Children, in four weeks there are 28 days. And we know in one month there are 30 or 31 days. Except February has 28 days. Therefore, in one month there are four weeks plus Two or three days. Children, always remember in ordinary years, February has 28 days. Now, in one year equals to 12 months. Or, in one year there are 365 days. That is 52 weeks 
and one day. Now let's learn about leap year. Children, in a leap year, everything remains same. Except in a leap year, February has 29 days. I am repeating, in a leap year, February has 29 days. Therefore, in one year, there are 366 days, which is 52 weeks and 2 days. Now children, let's learn how to find a year is leap year or not. How to find a leap year. If a year is divisible by 4, then it is a leap year. For example, let's find 2008 is leap year or not. To find 2008 is leap year or not, we have to divide by 4. So first, draw like this and put 2008 in the inside and write 4 here. Now children, 2 is smaller than 4, so we will take 2 digit, that is 20. And in the table of 4, where comes 20? 4 fives are 20. 4 fives are 20, so write 20 here. And in how many times? 5, so write 5 here. Then subtract it. 0 minus 0 is 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. Now, write 0 here. In the table of 4, how many times we get 0? 0 times. So, write 0 here. And 0, 4 zeros are 0. Then, subtract. 0 minus 0, 0. Then, it will comes here. Now, in the table of 4, how many times we get 8? 2 times 4 ones are 4 and 4 twos are 8. So, write 2 here and 8 here. Now, subtract. 8 minus 8 is 0. Here, the remainder comes 0. Means, it is divisible by 4. So, 2008 is a leap year. Okay? Now, let's learn about month or number of days. Children, in a year, there are 12 months. They are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. January has 31 days. February has 28 or 29 days. March has 31 days. April 30 days. May 31 days. June 30 days. July 31 days. August 31 days. September 30 days. October 31 days. November 30 days. December 31 days. Children, now see how to remember which month has 31 or 30 days. Students, make a fist like this and start counting the month. Like January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. Children, remember, if the month is on a knuckle, okay? Knuckle means this one, okay? This one. If the month is on a knuckle, then 
द मंथ हैज थर्टी वन डेज अदरवाइज द मंथ हैज थर्टी डेज एक्सेप्ट फेब्ररी फेब्ररी हैज ट्वेंटी एट और ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज नाउ सी द एक्सरसाइज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट थ्री Look at the calendar and answer the following. Children, here is calendar. Look at this and answer the following, okay? A is first month of the year. First month of the month of the year is January. Last month of the year is December. Month before September is Before September is August. Month after June. After June is July. Is two thousand eighteen is a leap year. Children, I have already taught how to find leap year or not. So divide two thousand eighteen by four. See, I am dividing here. Four five is a twenty. Twenty. Now subtract zero minus zero is zero. Two minus two is zero. Now one comes down. That is zero. Here also zero. Now minus one minus zero is one. Then eight comes down. In the table of four, eighteen not comes. It is sixteen. Four fours are sixteen, and four fives are is twenty. Twenty is greater than eighteen, so we will take sixteen. Four fours are sixteen, so write four here and sixteen. Now subtract eight minus six is two, and one minus one is zero. Here remainder comes two, so it is not divisible by four, means it is not leap year. So write here no. Next, how many Fridays are there in April? See the month of April, Friday. There are one, two, three, four. There are four Fridays. So write here four. Then, on which day is twenty sixth January? See the month of January, twenty six. That is Thursday. Write here Thursday. On which day is fifteenth August? See the month of August. Fifteen. Fifteen is Tuesday. So write Tuesday here. Then on which day is fifth September? See the month of September. September is fifth September is Tuesday. Write here Tuesday. Now last one is on which day is your birthday? children you know when is your birthday check from this calendar and write here okay so exercise 12.3 is your class work okay and 12.2 is your homework okay children this chapter is over now okay bye thank you